What's up everybody? Welcome back to Selenix Crypto. Good morning and welcome back to your daily Bitcoin update. Uh, let me please first move the camera a little bit. I think it's okay now. Maybe a little bit like this. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so welcome. If, if you're new to this channel, um, in this video is basically what we do is we go over some of the news around crypto, around Bitcoin, and we take a look at the price, most importantly. Um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. Not a lot of movements uh, right now. This was my analysis from like two days ago. It's still what I believe. We'll get into that a little bit later. Uh, right now though, volume has probably dropped down a little bit. Yeah, by 20%. That's what we said yesterday already. Yesterday it was at 40 billion. Um, we already said it was probably going to drop down to 30,000 uh, or, or 30 billion, excuse me, uh, a lot more. Um, and I think it's going to drop down even more. I mean, what I expect is going to happen with Bitcoin is that we're going to consolidate again on top of this level, same like we did uh, uh, last week. Uh, consolidate on top of 19,600, 19,500 for a couple of days. We might get some spikes up to this level here between 20,500 and 20,700. Um, but I don't think we're going to break that level. This level right here, and if we zoom in, you can you, you can kind of see that this level right here between 21,000 and 20,500 really is the, the gateway to a bullish Bitcoin, right? If we break above that, Bitcoin all of the, all, all of the sudden is relatively bullish. Um, for me, the market circumstances right now, so the, the broader economic circumstances, but also just crypto itself and, and, and the technicals are way more bearish than bullish. So I don't think, I, I think we can spike up to that level. I don't think we're going to break that. I think we're going to consolidate for a couple of days, but afterwards I am expecting a drop back down to 19,000 and 18,700. Same support level as we touched um, about 10 days ago. Uh, and again, I think that level is going to hold, um, which might be my mistake. All right, a lot of people are expecting us to drop down to this level here between 17 and 16,000. I understand that, that is very possible. Still, I think we can at least get one more move from 19,000 up to 22,000 from that level. Uh, so that's what I expect is going to happen. Slowly though, I think we're going to consolidate a little bit on top of 19,000 um, and, and then struggle with breaking through 20,700 and then find some resistance at 21,500. But eventually, I, you get the point. I think we'll, we'll have an uptrend up to there. Um, so that's the full technical part of the analysis. I also wanted to talk a little bit more about some, some important events coming up. All right, because uh, this, something like this, you could have known about. You could have known that we were going to have that drop. The thing is that you have to keep track of some important economic events, such as the release of the inflation rate numbers or the interest rate numbers, which if you go to uh, myfxbook.com and you click the calendar, you can easily do. You go to next week and then next week all of a sudden you see that Wednesday, September the 21st, we'll have some interest rate decisions for the, for the United States. Those are the most important ones. Um, so that's going to happen. Uh, basically, we're, we're expecting a 0.75% gain. Uh, this is going to make the market move. doesn't matter what happens. It always makes the market move, all right? Because there's always sentiment involved and stuff, and you cannot really predict it, uh, but you should know that Wednesday some important things are going on. You can follow it here. Uh, basically, if, for example, this interest rate would be 3%, uh, that's really bullish because a higher interest rate is bad for crypto. So if it gets lower than the consensus, so then that's expected. That's a great thing. Uh, but apart from that, it's also very uh, valuable and important to take a look at their long term projections and to listen to their press conference. Uh, so I just wanted to uh, get that in there. I, I will make more updates regarding that interest rate decision uh, soon. But for now, that's my analysis on Bitcoin. So if you do have any questions about it, feel free to ask me down in the comments. But for now, I'd like to thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.